Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Cousin Calico's Ranch. I'm raring to go. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 473. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, four, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone 
Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy. Can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, an orange 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. should be useful. Boy, I hope those edges are sanded. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. Deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. on the propeller. Oh, 
Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Phew! I think that did something. But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must be Go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great, we'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now. The nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. 
And may I say that a fickle pit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle pit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh... That's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh... Not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is! It's real good. to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question.
We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you must have a really big mouth. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't come out right. That's okay. I knew what you meant. And it is big. That's how come I get to be the town cabaret. Cabaret? What's that? We have plays and singing and different kinds of acts right inside my mouth. That's neat. Can we see? Well, the cabaret's closed right now. But sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. It's a screwdriver. Come on, Luther. Let's try this. people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. That handle belongs somewhere. Here, let me help. We did it, Luther. Why is the room spinning? It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, 
and look! This place is filled with water now! Got an idea? <coughs> Be free, little boy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye bye, buoy. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it. And it's not even scratched. Wow! Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. Here, this suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana.
Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Make us a belt buckle out of this. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay. Stand back! that's missing is a belt. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm a... Uh, 
What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a rustler! Good! That's what we want! There! Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing! It's a great outfit! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard! Wait! I'm coming with you! Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? <laughs> It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew, these are heavy. There, that does it. are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know. But I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. There! 
What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. No, oh, uh, but... Uh... I think... I suspect... Maybe it was... Well... <laughs> Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come
Come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso.